performance today? Okay. A little bit flat, a little bit leggy, but I understand that. You know, I don't think they time to adjust last week and the games went bump, bump. But just, there's always going to be a little bit of a lull, and you can just see that. And I think it's more psychological than anything else. You know, they just, just like that little bit of pizzazz in the final third. But we've had three really difficult games to negotiate in 10 days, so we'll come out of it unscathed and, um, you know, we'll get them together again, give them a couple of days rest, and then move forward, analyse maybe what things we could have done better, but just physically they just looked a little bit off today and I understand that. Did you think that might always come given yes. what's happened in the last Absolutely, week? it's just a natural, you've got that adrenaline rush for a couple of days and then there's always going to be a bit of a lull afterwards. So we take the point, still unbeaten since the turn of the year. Could have been better, no question of that, but um, the, these players are giving me everything and some of them are running on fumes, you know, we've got a lot of squads decimated at the minute with injuries and hopefully we'll get a few more bodies back and quality players to add to what we already have. Yeah, you would, any team would miss those players, you know, that's like you know what you know, top class midfield and top class midfield players. But Brownie and Beaton have done absolutely fine. We just like that little bit of creativity. Our our final ball was just a little bit lacking or our final cross and we didn't work do this well enough, but you got to give Aberdeen credit as well. You know they're tough not to crack sometimes. Is perspective important and as much as absolutely, it Gordon. Just the first points dropped at home all season. Yeah. Absolutely, well, thanks for that. I didn't know that. <laughs> 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 no perspective, of course. Uh -huh. They're human beings, they're not robots, and I totally understand that. And they've been in there afterwards, and you know, again, thank them for their performance. They give everything, but psychologically, you just see that they dropped a little bit. There's no question. That. That's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'd have loved to have won the game and be ten points clear, but you can't have everything, and they are giving me everything, so I'm not going to whip them for that performance today. It's totally understandable. I I understand the psychology of a player. Long time ago, I, I played the game myself. Long time ago. Mm -hmm. You made a couple of changes at half time. Yeah. Just to shake it, shake it up. Just yeah, get a bit more pace and injection into the team. And to be fair, Hudson worked a great opportunity and Joe made a great save. And then, you know, finally Mikey got himself into a wide position 1v1 and we almost scored off that. And then he had another chance after that. But we just we didn't have that in the first half. It was just a little bit flat and pedestrian from, from my liking. And I know what, what we've got here now. And um, I would like us to play with a bit more oomph, a bit more aggression. That's fine. We will analyse the game and then move on to the next one. There's no obviously there's no panic. Not from my side of things anyway. And the players shouldn't be disappointed. It's totally understandable. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.